So the model that we're looking at here is one of our training examples. So if, a, if anyone's been on our standard training course in the past, this is one of the examples that you might have looked at. It, it's a concrete arch structure. Now the process of using the RC designer is this. You build your model as you would build any other model. But once you then get to the point where you want to look at design, you go to the design menu, go to RC frame design, and you choose which design code you want to work with. Obviously here, I'm looking at the AS5100 code. Once you've selected your design code, you can go to your geometric sections here, and you can start to apply reinforcement to them. So if I double click on the arch section here, you'll see we've got this item here that allows you to apply reinforcement. Now this reinforcement is only going to be used for the design calculations. It isn't taken into account in the, the, the overall um, stiffness of the member. But if I now look at the reinforcement that we specified, if I click here, this is the reinforcement section that we're looking at here. So reinforcement for beams. If I click edit on this, I can actually look at the details of this. So here we've got a cover of 40 mil and we've got the allowance of a link for 12 mil. If I look at the layers of reinforcement here, you can see that we've got a doubly reinforced concrete section. If I click on any of these particular items here, a bit difficult to see, but can you see some of these items have gone blue? That's indicating you're looking at a particular part of the structure. If you make a mistake and you put a reinforcement bar on top of another reinforcement bar, this will be shown on red in this section here. And obviously I can specify the bar diameters, whether I want end bars to be the same. So essentially you define your reinforcement here. You can also define additional bars if you want, <coughs> but mainly working with the faces is good enough. So that's the reinforcement. Now these reinforcements can be given a name and they can all be also be used in multiple sections. So if I look at the uprights here, You'll notice that we're looking at the same reinforcement section, but it's just a thinner section that we're looking at. OK, so you define your reinforcement. You'll then go to the attributes tab, design and define an RC frame design attribute. I've got one here, so if I just double click on this. Now, this is where you set up the design code choices that you have within the design. And this is whether you want certain parameters to be set or not set. So here you can look at an auto factor or you can use a user defined factor. And you can also tell how you want creep to be dealt with in the structure. Now this design attribute is assigned to the structure. Now once you've got the reinforcement defined, your design attribute defined, I can obviously solve the model. Now at the moment, I'm looking at just a diagram, and that diagram I'm looking at is for FX in this particular model. But when you define your design attribute, you will get in the post-processing here, an RC frame design uh, item. If I set this active, in this case, what it's going to show me is contour results of the design utilizations for the particular design check that I'm doing. Now this takes a few seconds because it's going off and working out the design calculations. One thing I should say is the GoToWebinar software that we're using is quite memory intensive. So it actually slows things down. So in real life, that would have taken about half the time that you've seen. Okay, so what we're looking at here is selective points along my model where I'm looking at the design utilizations. And here I'm looking at something called util max. So this is the worst of all the design calculations I'm doing. And the good thing is you can see here that they're all below one effectively. 
So looking through this, everything's passed. Now, if you want to look at the detailed calculations, I can, rather than setting active, show results. <coughs> and this is where I see a detailed list of all the calculations that I've done. Here, we've got the various design calculations. Util max is the worst of those calculations, effectively. And again, the colors are indicating whether it's good or bad. If it was red, it's bad, usually. And I can then go off and look at any of the detailed calculations. So here, if I look at longitudinal steel design, let's just go down to 10 here, right hand mouse button. And I can uh, show detailed results for this row. So this is giving me detailed information on the particular calculation, including clause numbers for the particular check that's being carried out. I go back to summary. Again, just look at a different location. Now, again, this is now showing me the sort of cracked and uncracked sections. If I go to the resistance interaction surfaces, I can see a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional representation of that interaction surface. The black point here that I'm looking at is where we currently are in the system, but it's showing me the capacity of the section as a whole in those things. Now, as I said, these calculations can be printed out or they can be added to the LUSAS report using this button here. So that's the RCDA calculations to AS5100. It's basically taking your existing models and allowing you to find reinforcement within the sections, but also then doing the calculations on those sections.